Hello, I'm Andy, and I'm going to read to you a program called Career, Business, Financial Speculation, and Lotteries. So your job and career, your business, your financial speculations, and lotteries as well. And this is for you coming from Gemini, and it's for the month of July 2017. So let's start with your job or your career areas. Your first 18 days are going to be very difficult. It says disagreements with your boss at your place of work, difficulties, emotional problems, unhappiness, restlessness, oversensitivity, making you also very stubborn at times. So you can't afford to let all this happen. Otherwise, your first 18 days is going to be a very difficult period of time in your job area. You have to be careful that you can be let down or played out, have this feeling of being played out about the promises made to you. And so don't expect any promotions, don't expect any kind of uh, promises made to you to be kept. That way you won't feel too disappointed. Don't let your ego come in the way as well. Otherwise you're going to be a person who others will not appreciate in the first 18 days. In the last 18 days, in the last 13 days regarding your job or your career, the situation doesn't improve. It remains bad. Now it says that your status, your position in the job, you can lose it. Lose it in the sense that you may be demoted or somebody else may be put on charge on top of you and all these disappointments waiting to happen are terrible. So you have to concentrate the whole month of July and make sure that you do not be hasty and impatient and make mistakes and control your ego as well. The planets of ego are roaming around all over the place in the, in the whole month of July. All right. And focus on what you have to do. Your last 13 days show that trouble with your superiors is going to be plenty and you may be shifted around. In, in areas of your job that you will feel that uh, you are losing status. Regarding a business, if you are in business, the first 18 days show that you cannot take risks. You will lose. If you try to bid for contracts, you will find that ultimately you have wasted a lot of time. But I don't want you not to try. Go ahead. But you are not going to be very successful in the first 18 days in your area of business. And so what should you do? It's better to hold on to what businesses you have and consolidate. That means look after what you have in your hands. Don't be adventurous. Don't want to think of expansion. Don't want to bring new lines of business in. You won't be able to cope if you get them. And if you don't get them, I consider you quite lucky actually. So that you don't are not landed with these problems. Now, in the last 18, in the last 13 days, of July. The situation remains bad. It remains bad in the sense that you seem to be getting yourself into trouble. Now there's a foreign planet that entices you to deal with foreign ventures. Don't do that because this planet is very negative in the month of July. There's a planet that says, I will help you to expand. Don't do that because when you expand, you're going to be burdened. There's a planet that says, I will try and make you very popular and I will try and make you successful in that way. Don't believe it because the more exposed you are, the more element of risk will come. So again, consider consolidating your position, making your position at its is stronger rather than wanting to expand. So the whole month of July in business, I cannot recommend that you go gung-ho and uh, be very adventurous. Now regarding financial speculations, that includes stock market, the forex, and I include gambling as well, because that's also a form of financial speculation. So your luck in the month of July is not very strong. So you cannot take risks. And if you still want to keep in touch with the stock market or the forex or you still want to gamble here and there, go slow, go low. Alright, don't want to expose yourself to big time. Why? 
because in the first 18 days itself it says that whatever you try to do you are thinking emotionally and not using common sense and it says that there is no area for you for expansion which means no chance of winning and then the last 13 days it says you can lose in the sense that now this losing bit can be you can lose to the bank which is the stock market which is the forex which is the casino and so you will lose and so don't be daring your last 13 days show that you want to you want to dare you have the daringness to go ahead you will lose so try to tell yourself i rather give it a rest for the uh, month of July or if I have to still keep in touch and do something and then I will play small okay regarding lotteries now why do some people win lotteries and some don't it is your aura and your energy form if you don't know how to channel this energy towards getting exactly what you want in this case to strike a lottery you won't be able to do so. It takes many factors to actually channel the energy to such a laser point and then you will hit the jackpot. Okay. Now, one way to do it is to make a personal consultation with me and uh, that personal on that personal consultation, I will use your date of birth, I will use your time of birth, I will look at your palms, I will look at your face because your face is a map for predictions I will use tarot cards for you. If you want me to use tarot cards in those 90 minutes, you will be with me for a personal consultation. And based on that, I will make for you a very special calendar. It's one of the things, and there are many things I will teach you how to be lucky. One of the things will be a daily calendar so that for the rest of your life, you are going to know your good dates, your good days, your bad dates, your bad days, and that will help you in every area of life, romance, marriage, family, health, lotteries, in the stock market, in the job, in the career, every area of life you apply that. It's been proven for the last 26 years that I've been doing this as to be very accurate. Some many clients of mine call it their Bible. Okay, so, but we'll come back to, to a bit later. So regarding lotteries, now there are many kinds of lotteries. So uh, whichever one you're home with, what do we do? I'm going to give you for the month of July, for you coming from Gemini, some dates, okay, in July. And also these numbers will relate to your lucky numbers. So let's start first with your lucky numbers. I've chosen what I've written here is three series. Now three series means, I'll explain to you in a minute. It means that in the month of July, the numbers, uh, the, the dates, let's start with the dates, sorry. The dates, the 3rd, the 12th, the 21st and the 30th are very special dates in the sense that they can provide for you plenty of good luck. Okay, now it's a contradiction because we are in the period of cancer now in the month of July and because we are in Gemini. I've chosen these dates specially. Normally these dates are not your good dates but because of the period of cancer I'm going to test these three dates for you. So. You, so on the 3rd, 12th, 21st, 30th, you are probably in many areas going to have not good luck. But for the, for the lottery part of it, for choosing the numbers, for buying the numbers, go do that on the 3rd, 12th, 21st and 30th. Sometimes we have to contradict these things in astrology. I'm going to give you another series and this is called the 6th series. And that means the 6th, 15th and 24th of July are also very lucky dates for you. All right. Now, why do I let's go back to the three series? Why do I call it the three series? So I mentioned the third, the twelfth, the twenty-first, the thirtieth, the dates. So the third is the third. The twelfth, when you add one and two, it comes to three. The twenty-one, when you add two and one, it comes to three. The three zero thirtieth, when you add three to the zero, it comes to three. So the root number is three. Any number, you can go to the number 48, you add 4 and 8 are 12 and then you add 1 and 2 equals 3. So come to the root number, the single number, keep adding and when it comes to 3, I call it the 3 series. That's why, okay? And then the, for the 6 series, the same thing. So now let's look of choice of numbers. Now, 
in many countries the lotteries are different ways in some countries it's up to 49 numbers some countries up to 58 numbers whatever numbers they are used by them firstly with their, in mind the three series so whatever numbers you buy whether they are 39 3 and 9 are 12 1 and 2 equals 3 come back to the root number 3 so the three series i favor first and then i also favor the six series so from there you can join and uh, uh, formulate your choice for that lottery numbers okay now regarding inspiration there are many forms of inspiration to inspire uh, yourself to, to to get those numbers that are going to strike one of the ways is you may think of the numbers and uh, you may associate them to birth dates of people all right while you're doing this i want you with your thumb to connect it with your first finger the index finger on both hands now fingers are extremities that's how energy moves out energy has to move out otherwise we will explode so when you do that for that one two three four five minutes that you are looking for inspiration to get numbers the energy will not move out it comes back into you it builds up and you will get these feelings of you like this number and you like that number and you write it down and you go and buy that number that's one way of getting inspiration. There's also another way which I use sometimes for myself. I just have little bits of paper I've cut up one inch by one inch, let's say, and I write a number one there and I crumple it. Then the next one I write number two and then the next I go on until I've got, depends on your lottery. If your lottery has 59 numbers to choose from, then you'll go up to 59. And I will just throw them on the table, all crumpled up. And I will just pick them one by one and I, as I open them, I write the number. As I open the next, I write the number and I use my energy that way. All right. But it's very important while you are doing this, you have to face a certain direction. And for you in Gemini, I've chosen the direction southeast. Southeast is the direction for the moon. Okay. Is it? Yes, for the moon. And so you are looking for moon energy. And so face southeast and you will be able to get some powerful energy coming your way when you're doing this okay there's another technique i use for myself sometimes i have on a piece of paper written out numbers in the first row one two three four five six second row seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and i go until the required numbers for my lottery okay i like the lottery here that gives me a choice from 49 numbers so i have a paper with 49 numbers and then i will get hold of a pen all right or anything and I will not look at the paper or I'll close my eyes and I'll just put my pen there and I'll say, oh, number 32. So I'll write down number 32. And then I will do, keep on choosing numbers like that. Because it, in the end, it is your luck. It is your energy. I'm only helping you to come down and choose between three and six series. So I'm narrowing down the field. Okay. But in the end, it's your energy. So you try these ways of inspiring yourself. All right. Now, um, regarding your lucky dates, when you should go and buy, I like the 6th series very much. So on the 6th, 15th and 24th of July are very special planetary alignments which are waiting to make you very lucky, whether in areas of job, whether in areas of business, whether in areas of any other part of your life and also the date 6th, 15th, 24th to actually do this choosing if you want or going to buy the actual purchase of this lottery ticket with those numbers 6 15th and 24th are very powerful days in july for you coming from gemini when you go and do that i like you to or, or when you are choosing colors and inspiring yourself i like you all the time to wear the color light blue the light blue in gemini is a very favored color and in july it also does very well so wear top especially in okay below your waist we don't care your top basically and um, wear light blue and then do this kind of uh, um, uh, help for yourself in attracting energy there's a thing called the law of attraction that's how you attract energy for lotteries now while you're doing all that i want you to face southeast i've told you okay so you, you try your luck that way you need to warm up slowly now I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 5050 for a 90 minute Skype session based on your date of birth, 
your time of birth and looking at your palms and I'll be looking at your face and I'll be using tarot cards if you want me to. And so, during these 90 minutes, we will talk of all areas of your life in detail for your next five or six years. And it will be a very interesting reading for you. And I will include also giving you the magical calendar, I call it, so that for the rest of your life, from the date of your uh, consulting with me, you will know what dates make you very lucky, what days make you very lucky, how to connect them, what dates and days make you very unlucky, how to, to realize and lie low. Okay? I look forward to Skyping with you one day. So go to Facebook and follow me and um, communicate with me, ask me questions, make a date to Skype or go to Skype itself and leave me a message and I'll come back to you. In the meantime, I wish you the best of luck in July in whatever area of your life you want to promote yourself in. Until then, thank you and good luck.